Summer is winding down, and if you are a bit exhausted after months of heat and activity, so is your lawn. Master Gardener William Moss is here with tips on late summer lawn care. Good to see you. Good, Good to, to see, see you, you as well. Good to I see you. I know what this is about, right? Yeah, definitely. You want to aerate right now. You definitely want to get in there because the lawn has been compacted and it definitely mm -hmm. needs to get that oxygen to the roots. Yep. This is a long handle cultivator you're using right now yeah. called the grass stitcher. And this guy is great for people who don't have those massive lawns. You just right. want to get out there and roll some stuff over. This works really great for cultivating that. Well, now see, then you get your double, right? Exactly. Yeah, so you got the double wide in case you got a bigger space to <laughs> cover there. Right. But I like yeah. these things here. This is the this is the coolest. <laughs> well, this this is Raggy, Raggy, these are your new golf spikes. There you go. <laughs> Take a look at these guys. Yeah, these shoes are neat. You know, I love talking about dancing. These shoes are not for dancing, but right. <laughs> you put these on when you're out mowing the lawn or when you're just walking through there, and it really helps spike the grass up a little bit, and it does some of the same things you can get with aeration, but it's it's more spiking. This guy's better if you want to get the cultivation. Okay, approach. this is good. These are all good. All yeah, right, so now stuff. is the time to do that, right? You definitely want to do it now. You want to get out there, and now's the time for fertilizer, too. The lawn's been depleted, so you mm -hmm. want to get out there and give it that boost to kind of keep it going and get it reinvigorated. Right. I, I love the, the products that are more natural, all natural. Right, of course. This guy here, Turf Revolution, is made from nothing but plant and plant and uh, mineral material. No oh, animals, oh, just okay. plants and minerals, completely organic. Right. So yeah, this is a really neat one to use there for Yeah, that. and is there a, a thing that you should be looking for for a fall uh, fertilizer product that, you know, moreover, you know, versus a nitrogen right. or a phosphate or blah, blah, blah? What you want, you really want these two numbers to be big. You want nitrogen because your lawn's probably out of it. That's the first number. Number, okay. And the third number is potassium. Ah. And, and potassium helps prepare all the plants for wintertime. There so you, you want these two numbers to be big if you okay. can. Okay, all right. Those, so those are two biggest give, ones. Feed your lawn you can just bananas. Lay that down. I don't know right. if it's going to stand. Feed and, your lawn bananas. <laughs> right, feed okay. your lawn. And it's also a great top dresser, too. This, this is just like a little organic material. You take it, spray it out on top, mm -hmm. and, and that way it feeds the lawn and adds organic matter. Yeah. Double duty. So all this right. is a really good one as well. This well. is good. Now, what's this gizmo right here? Well, this is a soil tester, and I encourage everybody get your soil test done. This is a little easy one that you can pop in and, uh -huh. and get a reading. It says that we're dry here. <laughs> we need the water. But these guys here are more professional. They'll give you everything that's wrong with your lawn. You'll know how to do it. They even give you a little kit to tell you how to fix it up. So I encourage everyone, do this first. You have healthy soil, you'll have healthy plants. So this really then is it's about finding out what's in the soil, what's strong, what's weak, what's whatever, because that will reflect how you treat that soil will then reflect on what happens with the lawn. Exactly. Right? It's just more targeted fertilizing. You definitely get your Get your objective going this way. See, this actually measures our sense of humor. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Yeah. All right. uh, so what do we got here? What is all this stuff? Well, while you're going to do that, you may as well treat for grubs, too. Grubs are a big problem. They start to hatch now, so you don't have to use harsh, harsh chemicals anymore. You yeah. can use this product. It's, it's a safer grub killer, so it's approved by Armory for organic gardening. Right. What you want to do is kill the grubs as they hatch. They're hatching now, and oh, then they okay. start to eat the turf roots while they're on the upper surface. So mm -hmm. get them while they're close enough to get and get rid of them. Right. You save your lawn this year, and then next year, you wow. don't have those June bugs and Japanese beetles that are popping up all popping over Popping out, the place. getting your garden, and so, so get rid of those. Why? Because you know what? I've got more bowl holes in my yard this, than ever before. That, that is exactly why, because the moles are coming looking for grubs. So you can put this product here by liquid fence is called um, mole repellent worms, mole worms. Yeah. Drop these guys in there and it works really good. There you go. William Moss, as always, do appreciate <laughs> it.